Hello everyone, my name is Chi Chi Gong. I am from the New Mexico State University. Today I will show our work, the CSQ system. The system to support the constraint skylight query on multi-cost transportation network. In what follows, and first I will shortly introduce some basic concepts. Then I will show the architecture of our system. And last, I will demonstrate our system by using a real-life real scenario and present some exper experimental results. Our system is built to answer the constraint Skylight query on multi-cost transportation network. The Skylight query is a classical query on multi-dimensional data set. It tries to find the objects that are better than other objects on at least one dimension in a given multi-dimensional data set. The objects in the result sets that they are not dominate each other. In our work, we are trying to conducting the query, Skylight query on multi-cost transportation network. We can call it MCTN for short. So in MCTN, the nodes represent the bus stops or metro stations. The segments or the edges in MCTN represent the segments of bus line or metro line. The MCTN constraint skylight, we can call it CSQ for short. It's a new type of skylight query on multi-cost transportation network. And MC, given an MCTN G, and the query point Q that could be of the skyline of the network and the set of points of interest in D that could be of the network as well. The CSQ tries to return the skyline answer objects that can be reached from Q here. An answer object can be reached from Q, which means it can be reached from Q by utilizing the public transportation network or walking directly from Q. So now let's take a look at the architecture of our system. The data storage and indexing components store the point of interest in the public transportation network. The query processing component implements the exact solutions and the heuristic search algorithm to answer the six queues. The web interface provides an inter interactive user interface to allow users to input their query and relate it to parameters and also to visualize the six queue answers. As mentioned before, there are two types of data need to be stored properly to support efficient constraint skylight query. The first one is the point of interest object. Each object has multi-dimensional non-special attributes. We use the R tree to store the multi-dimensional non-special attributes and the location information of each object. At the same time, we implement the local skylight object index as well. It's a hierarchical index that store the pre-calculated candidate object for each node in MCTN. Another kind of data is the public transportation networks. We use a new 4J that is a widely used graph database management system to start it. The query processing component implement an improved exact method and two heuristic search algorithm that are proposed in our previous paper. The improved exact method is an optimized version of the baseline, baseline method by applying several lemmas. Although it can return the exact solutions, but the performance of this algorithm is very inefficient and not practical. So here we also implement two heuristic method that returns the approximate results in a more efficient way. The first method is called the range approximate method. 
is constrain the walking distance must be within a given threshold. We call this threshold is the distance threshold. The second method is called the mixed approximate method. Besides the distance threshold is adopted, that follow the same idea of the range approximate method. But also in this method, a graph pass is only expanded when one of its we value is minimal during the graph traverse. The details of those algorithms can be found in our previous paper. Besides implement, uh, implement mentioning method, there are two new features to add this system to make it more practical and more friendly. And first, we generalize the query point could be the location that a user can specify it on the map directly, not one of the not only one of the objects from a list. Then we add one more constraint to consider the number of bus stop, which means we limit the length of the public transportation pass. Introducing those two new features not only not only speed up the query process but also generate a more decent result set. The last component is the web interface. Our web interface is organized with four regions: the parameter region, the object list panel, the path showing region, and a pop-up info window. Here, the in general, we accept four different kinds of parameters. The query point where the query happened, and the points of entry type, the desired type, the user want the system return, the distance threshold, the maximum distance that a user is willing to walk the number of bus stops, the maximum length of the graph pass. Once the results are ready, the distinct objects are list on the object list panel. Once any object is clicked, the corresponding path from the query point to it will be drawn on the map. And also the detailed information of each of the object will be displayed on the map, on the pop-up window. It includes the long special attributes and the corresponding costs of each pass. In our demonstration, we use three cities real data, New York, Los Angeles, and San Francisco. We extract the public transportation pass from the uh, public transportation data from the website ride schedule and the point of interest object from by using the uh, Google Maps API. In order to use our system at first, the user need to select the city where the query happened. Then there are four ways that allow user to select the query point. At first, the user can directly type in the address. In the second way, the user can select the object from a preloaded list. The third one, user can use their current location by clicking this GPS button. In the fourth way, the user can select any place on the map directly. Once a query point is confirmed, the user can select their desired query parameters, the different methods, the walking distance, number of bus stops. Here is a short video that demonstrates the usage of our system with a real life scenario. scenario. The use of the system with a real life scenario. For example, I am attending a conference at High 8 Regency in San Francisco. At the end of one day, I would like to find a restaurant to have dinner. The restaurant does not need to be close to the hotel. For example, it, will be able, it would be acceptable if I can reach the restaurant by taking a bus with less than 10 stops. Also, I do not want to walk too much when I get, go to take the bus. 
For example, I only want to walk for less than 500 meters. Given these constraints, I can enter 500 meters as the walking distance and 10 for the maximum number of bus stops. And our search type is restaurant. After running the search, the left panel shows all the Skyline query answers in a list. These answer points are also marked on the map. We can click one target object to check the public transportation routes from the query point to this object. For this scenario, I found the restaurant and the system will show us the path view on Google Map. The dashed line illustrates the walking route from the query point to the starting bus stop and from the ending bus stop to the target objects. The solid line displays the bus route. The blue marker are the bus stops of the bus routes. Different network paths are shown in different colors. Also, we can see the attributes of the target object. These attributes include point of interest name, ranking represented with number of stars, price, interest level, walking distance, the estimated cost of the bus ticket, the total distance, and estimated travel time. Thank you for watching our video. And also, we can analyze and study different constraint skylight query algorithm and the influence of different parameters on those CSQ algorithms by using our system. The left side is the search result by return by using the improved index Reason the right side is the result return by using the range of, of approximate search algorithm by using the, sir, the same query setting. We can see also the exact method can return the exact solutions, but the results are scattered almost the whole map of the San Francisco. And also some results are not reasonable to user because they are too far away and we can see the result return from the approximate method. The results are more distinct and more close to the query point. Here, we can summarize our system. It is the first system was built to support the constraint skylight query on multi-cost transportation network. And we implement one index search algorithm and two heuristic approaches to support the CSQ query. And also we add two new features to make the system more practical and more friendly. Our interface helps users to understand CSQ algorithms and their answers. In this demonstration, we use three real-world data sets. Here are some references used in our paper. Thank you. Have any questions?